obviously i'm looking at your background here and you're wearing a leaf shirt and i just want to describe this for people listening to the radio or on pod steve dangle is the king of the leaf paraphernalia behind him during his segments do you want to become the new steve dangle because all i see behind you i know it's a little fuzzy on the filter but you can make it out you look like a leaf shrine both on your chest and behind your head. explain to us how this all came together. i mean dangle is i mean there's no competition man i'm leaving him in the dust just, 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 I'm sorry, Dangle, but you're dangling by thread. Um, what? <laughs> so I have some weird filter on my iPad, but yeah, I got, I got Palmateer back there. I got uh, Bunny LaRock. I mean, I got Wayne Thomas. Um, I got uh, Cujo and Felix and uh, Eddie the Eagle. And I got some Brodeur because I love me some Brodeur. Um, I got, I just got might be my favorite piece 1967 maple leafs cup winning team photo 67 of 1967 signed by 19 members of the team wow wow so that that and and i also have wait i gotta get this you gotta see this guys all right all right so time is yours adam copeland going into his shrine in north carolina you can hear things moving around in the shrine Oh, what is this. that? What is that? Giddy up. That's so hot. Yep. That's, so hot. That's the real belt right there. Hello, Edge. I caught your appearance on Tim and Sid, and I couldn't help but overhear you chirping my blue room and calling out my Toronto Maple Leafs fandom. And to that, I gotta say, it's an honor to be called out by the rated R superstar himself, the owner of one of the most illustrious careers in WWE history, and more importantly, the owner of one of the grainiest webcams I have ever seen in my entire life. Grainier than a bowl of all brand, but as long as we're talking about the buds, I am the biggest Leafs fan in the entire world. I've been a bigger Leafs fan than you since you were line mates with Christian and Gangrel. No need to brood on it, it's just the truth. Edge. At the end of the day, we're both Leaf fans. But who is the biggest? On this day, I see clearly. Oh, hi, Dangle. If that is indeed your real name, not a manly, realistic name like Edge. You know, last night I saw your video, and then I sent the Edge signal blazing across the starry indigo evening sky to my worldwide legions of Edge minions, and... None of them knew who you are. Except for Frank, the maitre d' at the Swiss Chalet on University, and he told me that you are a professional appreciator. How does one get that degree? What's that little edge? Sorry, my 224th action figure has told me that you attain said degree by rolling up the rim to win. Now, since you don't have theme music that I can quote and you've never hung with a gang of cool vampires, your claim to fame is that you are a Leafs fan, like the rest of Ontario and half of Canada. See, I'm a Royal Rumble winner, meaning I can challenge any champion, yet you're a champion of nothing. Huh. If I had a soul, I think I'd feel bad right now. Lucky for me. But you cut a heck of a promo, kid, so you have a future doing something. Maybe as an auctioneer, or a tarot card reader, or a a, a carnival barker. Now, if this was just a cheap ploy to try and get a signed 8x10, you can just ask me because I am a benevolent, dictator man. But the one thing that we can agree on is that by the power of Bunny LaRock, go, Leafs, go. (laughs) 